Fellas, if there's one thing that you're gonna have to come face to face with when you're buying pretty much anything these days, it's tipping. Now I get tipping isn't really people's favorite thing to do considering it's more money on top of whatever you paid for for whatever you bought. Tipping can go a pretty long way, even if you bought something as simple as a coffee. Most places usually have the option of tipping 10%, 15%, or 20% after you purchase. In most cases, I'm usually using debit and occasionally credit, so the tipping option's almost always there when I have to go to pay. And since that's the case and usually the norm for most stores, especially the ones that are debit and credit only, it actually makes it more of a hassle for me to cancel the tip and just say I want to pay the regular price. So I usually just do myself and the employee a favor by just paying the tip, just so it takes less time. When I do tip, I usually tip 10%. I kind of made that my default, not only because it's the lowest, but because 15 and 20 Money can be kind of expensive sometimes depending on what I buy. I'll usually make a 15% tip if the order was really good and 20% if it went above and beyond. Usually this is for buying stuff like bubble tea. In most cases I spend 10 and occasionally 15 depending on how good the order was. But spending a 20% tip is a bit rare. I think the one time I spent a 20% tip recently was the last time I went to Smoke's Poutinery. I mean the poutine there wasn't really the best, but the guy there did give me stickers after I asked him if there was any merch. And I don't mean like one sticker, like the dude came out with like a whole roll of stickers and I thought, okay, I was asking if I could buy one and the dude basically gave me a shit ton of them. Even though my order was kind of expensive and the poutine wasn't the best, the guy was super generous and I felt really bad if I didn't tip, so I decided to give him 20%. When it comes to mandatory tipping, I'm not really sure where to stand on that whole issue. On one hand, it's super beneficial to minimum wage employees that deserve a tip. On the other hand, if it's forced, it kind of doesn't really seem like a tip, it could just be like an extra service charge or something. I feel like the idea of a tip is really more toward like the gratitude of the customer and appreciating all the service that you get. Not to say that people don't deserve tips, but tips should really go toward the waiters and not be pocketed by the owners of the business. In regards to scenarios where I don't tip, I feel like that's kind of rare. It really depends if I'm spending like a lot of money on something and can't really afford to tip, especially if I'm paying stuff like taxes and shipping on top of whatever the regular price was. Not to mention some tips over 20% are pretty steep. I mean 20% is kind of like the max for me, but if something was like incredibly good, then I'll probably consider it. But some places can be kind of ridiculous with like their expectations when it comes to tipping. Some places look at you and expect to tip like a million percent on that little iPad that they just swivel around for you after you buy your coffee and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna pass. Like if the product I was getting served was like that one burger that Spongebob made against King Neptune in that one battle where he basically like blew away the competition, then I'd probably tip a crap ton of money. But if it's some like regular ass coffee, I'll probably just tip the default 10 or occasional 15%. The last thing that I had on my mind that kind of coincides with the idea of tipping was the idea of creator codes. I know a lot of games, especially Fortnite, have creator codes, and basically how it works is that you put in some player's name when you purchase something and they get like a really small cut. So it's kind of like you're tipping them, but it really seems more like a donation. Either way, it's pretty effortless and you're not paying anything extra. It's really just taking a fraction of what you're already paying in the first place and giving it to that player as if it's like a donation to help them grow their channel or whatever. All in all, I think tipping is pretty much common courtesy at this point. I don't think it should be forced despite it's like very common nature, but at the same time, you shouldn't completely disregard it whenever you're buying something. For me, I don't just think of the product and the quality of the product, I also think of the place I bought it from. It could be like a local business or just a minimum wage employee who just really relies on those tips to get by. In conclusion, you should consider tipping. Just keep in mind the place, the people, and the product that you come face to face with when you gotta buy something. Hopefully it'll be worth your time and money, and if you choose to tip, it'll likely be worth theirs too. If you're unsure, just do some research. Something as simple as a review can usually help you out, and even some things as simple as asking friends on whether a place is good or not. So consider it, because even the smallest tips can go a pretty long way.